Russia's ambassador to the U.N. says all fighting has stopped. The Syrian army is in control and the rebel fighters are retreating. This is a fast-changing story. Ali Irhim joins us from on, on the phone from the Syrian capital. And Ali, we know that you left Aleppo. What have you been hearing? Well, first of all, we should mention that the recent developments in Aleppo uh, with the Syrian army making substantial gains and gaining control of over 98% of all of eastern Aleppo make this deal inevitable. And in the past 24 hours, we heard pleas from opposition activists and from rebel commanders uh, appealing to the world to uh, aid, come to their aid and uh, facilitate some kind of deal uh, that would allow the safe exit or the safe passage of these rebel fighters, along with a number of activists and family of these fighters. Uh, as a result, uh, for the first time in uh, years, actually, it seems that the bloody fighting in Aleppo is coming to an end. Uh, according to uh, my local sources, there are preparations going on on the ground in Aleppo for the evacuation of all rebel fighters from the remaining three districts under the control of militants uh, with an area of uh, 3.5 square kilometers and we're evacuating it uh, today or tonight, what we're finding, according to my local sources. And it seems that this is uh, related to the statements made by the United Nations uh, representative for Russia, Vitaly Shurkin, in this regard. Allah, has there been any practical steps to implement uh, the ceasefire in Aleppo in the past few hours? Yes. Uh, in the past few hours, and for the first time in weeks, actually, as you mentioned in the introduction, I recently came from our and 24 hours from now, and throughout my 10 days stay uh, in Aleppo, every night it was very difficult to sleep with the sounds of ongoing shelling and intensive airstrikes carried out against areas under the control of the rebels, uh, relentless shelling that would go around the top 24 hours, uh, pounding every area under the control of the rebels, uh, today, I spoke with residents of Aleppo who confirmed to me that for the past eight hours they did not hear any shelling. Uh, and also, some eyewitnesses have mentioned that they've seen buses, a couple of buses known as the green buses, because they are green buses actually, heading towards Avramutri, which is believed to be the extraction point where the remaining rebel fighters would head there with their families and with a number of activists, including some 30 or 40. Uh, activists who have uh, non syrian nationalities, including people with American, uh, British nationalities, will be evacuated from uh, Avramitri Point, which is located south uh, east of eastern Aleppo, and from there, in upcoming hours, expected you know, that the remaining rebel fighters with their family will leave Aleppo, ending uh, a battle for the control of the city that started on July 2012, when rebels first moved in on the city, trying to take control of it. Uh, and for the next four years after that, they have been never stopping a little, and it's coming to an end tonight. Local timing, it's the deal, growth as planned. One last detail, the Syrian government, the government officials are very discreet about this deal. They said they want the deal to go smoothly, so they, they refuse to comment on any of the details. They even refuse to verify the existence of such a deal, and according, again, to local eyewitnesses, it seems that practical measures and practical steps are being taken and it seems to be a matter of hours before, before the whole ordeal of Aleppo ends. All right, Ali Ihrim joining us by phone from Syria.